So you're looking to build out a website, you've heard about Elementor Cloud, and you've got some questions. Well, in this video, I'll be diving into exactly what Elementor Cloud is, how it differs from other major website builders, and what you absolutely must know before you decide to use Elementor Cloud to build your own website. So let's dive right into things and start off with what Elementor Cloud actually is. And before we do, if at any point you want to sign up for Elementor Cloud yourself, I'll leave a link at the top of the description below, which you can use to support the channel if you so choose. But Elementor Cloud in a nutshell is basically a platform created by Elementor, which is one of the leading page builders out there for WordPress websites. Now, believe it or not, WordPress actually runs about 43% of the internet, which is crazy. Almost half the websites out there are built on WordPress. This includes some big, big names like the New York Times, Time Magazine, Spotify Newsroom, and a whole bunch of other big websites. So WordPress is pretty much the standard. Now, to build a WordPress website, you really need one of two things. You either need to be a coder, so you can code the entire website yourself or you need a page builder that makes it basically very easy for you to build out a website without needing to know a single line of code. Now, while I did take like two coding classes in college, I definitely fall into the latter camp where I need a page builder to build my websites. That's where Elementor comes into play. And actually over seven and a half percent of all websites on the internet run on Elementor, which is also just a crazy concept because that means a significant percentage of WordPress websites are built on Elementor. And I would say Elementor is pretty much the industry standard when it comes to page builders for WordPress. And that's not just among small sites. I mean, large sites as well are using Elementor to build out their basically interface in order to make it very easy to edit and very appealing to users. So previously Elementor's only offering was this page builder that a bunch of WordPress websites are using, a bunch of websites on the internet are using this page builder. But now there's Elementor Cloud. This came out early in 2022. And it basically takes the service that Elementor is providing, takes it to the next level and allows you to basically build your entire website in one place. So in the past, Elementor really only offered a couple different things. You can either use their free page builder and build your WordPress website using their page builder, or you can get their pro page builder for $49 per year. And then you could use that to get some advanced features, functionality, widgets, etc. Now with both of these, you needed to have your web hosting separately. And that kind of ties into how WordPress websites actually work. So I want to just give you a quick crash course on WordPress websites in a nutshell. So you need to do three main things in order to get a WordPress website up and running. The first of which is you need web hosting. So think of this as a big hard drive that stores your entire website and it lives in the cloud. You basically need to pay a company a certain amount of money per month to host your website on their servers and that's kind of where your website lives. Then you need to install WordPress. So WordPress basically sits on top of your website and it's kind of a framework that lets you build your site. Now it's a bit of a pain to kind of download and install WordPress manually and a bunch of web hosts will actually do this for you if you pay them a little bit more. So you can kind of bundle web hosting with the WordPress installation process. Then you need to actually build your pages. So that's where either being a coder or having a page builder comes into play. And that's where Elementor fit into the equation previously. So you need to get your web hosting somewhere else and then you can do the page building stuff on Elementor. But at the beginning of 2022, Elementor Cloud was launched to basically combine both of these into one. So basically giving you your web hosting, installing WordPress, and giving you your page builder all in one spot. So you don't have to piece these things together. Even if you've done it a few times before, and if you haven't, then it just involves watching a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials and figuring out how to tie everything together. And so the concept was like, how can we make this process easier, combine everything into one and make it an affordable price point for websites, large or small. And that's basically Elementor Cloud in a nutshell. But now let's talk about how it's different from some of its competitors, because there's a lot of other companies kind of doing somewhat similar things that you've probably heard of if you're watching this video right now. So the big thing is instead of paying for your web hosting and then paying for your page builder, they're bundled together in one so you can pay for everything in one spot and everything's automatically linked. To give you an idea for what WordPress hosting typically costs, it can really range anywhere from about $50 per year all the way up to, I mean, if you're getting high-end hosting, over $1,000 per year on the high end. Now that price is mainly gonna be dictated by how much server allocation you have, the total bandwidth that your site is given, how many page views you're getting per month, and a bunch of different things. So with a small site, you can get closer to that $50 per year mark, but if you're getting a bigger site, lots of traffic, you need a lot of bandwidth, then you're looking to move up in the ranks in terms of how much you're actually paying for hosting. But for most new sites, you're looking at like the 50 to $100 per year mark in most cases. Then on the page builder side, like I said, Elementor Pro, they still offer this, it's $49 per year. That's basically the industry standard when it comes to page builders. So if you're piecing stuff together yourself at a bare minimum, you're looking at about $99 per year, which is the exact same price as Elementor Cloud. So one, it's saving you that time, but two, the hosting you're actually getting is much more substantial than what you typically 
typically pay like $50 a year for. I mean, you're getting a lot more value from that component. And that's because it's based on the Google Cloud Platform, which is trusted by a lot of top tier companies and is pretty well renowned for their security and their reliability. So you're getting really solid hosting, plus you're getting the page builder built in. And then on top of that, they're also including a lot of features that your normal web hosting services are going to charge you extra for. These are things like free daily backups, which is actually very important for a website, whether it's large or small, because in general, you're either going to have to manually back up your website, which basically means just like downloading a copy of it, saving it on your personal computer or on your hard drive, just in case something goes wrong with your hosting and your entire website gets lost, you want to have a backup of that. So you can either download it manually yourself periodically, say weekly, monthly, however frequently you want to do it, or you can pay your web host to automatically back up your website on whatever kind of periodic basis you want. So if you want, say, daily backups, it's going to cost you because your hosting basically needs to make duplicates of your site and make sure that it's always backed up at all times. So that's included for free on Elementor Cloud. You don't have to pay extra for that, which is nice. And they also throw in a free SSL, which is basically a security certificate that shows the internet that your site is safe for things like processing credit cards and just taking people's information in general. If you've ever been browsing on the internet and you get a big warning page before you go to a site that says this site may not be safe or this site could be exposing your personal information, that's probably because they didn't have an SSL set up. Elementor Cloud automatically does that for you. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to pay extra for it. So the main differentiator is that it's combining everything into one and saving you a lot of time, both both up front and down the line when you want to potentially change things. And just to kind of illustrate the ease of creating a website on here, I want to just dive into a quick demo on my computer, and then we're going to get into what you absolutely must know before you make the decision of whether to use Elementor Cloud or whether to go somewhere else. Now, if you type in applecreditor.com slash Elementor, or you click on that link at the top of the description, it's going to take you to this page so you can follow along if you want to. So basically just going to show you the entire process, start to finish how you set up your website very, very quickly. This entire process is probably going to take only a couple of minutes to go from this page right here to having a website that you can actually navigate to on the internet that looks pretty nice. So let's see how quick we can do it. So first thing you're going to want to do is press buy now, as you can see, $99 per year with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if at any point you decide it's not for you, you can just go ahead and get your money back very easily. So. We're just going to go ahead and press buy now. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to press sign in. If you don't, you'll just enter an email and password to create that account. All right, so as you can see, I am signed in. So it's just automatically filled out all my info. If that's not the case, you'll just fill that out yourself. Go down here and press continue. And then you'll just select a payment method. I've already got one saved, so we're just going to use that. And I will just click pay now. Now, I've already got my account set up, so I don't actually need to be buying this right now. But just to show you guys how easy it is to set up, I'm just going to uh, throw some money away for the sake of creating this tutorial. So from here, you'll just press start creating your website. And then you'll be prompted to kind of go through this setup process. So I'm just going to toss together a quick cool website for my YouTube channel. I've already got one going, but we'll just toss another one up anyways. So we'll just say it's called Apple Crater. Press next. It gives you this free domain, which you can then choose to a custom domain if you want to upgrade down the line. I'll have a link in the description below to my topic for a domain service where I buy all of my domains, the cheapest solution possible. So this is the one that they're going to give you. Then you can kind of choose what kind of website we have going on here. So I'm just going to say it's a blog because I might want to post some articles on here down the line. We'll press next and it'll give you a bunch of options to choose from in terms of templates to get you going. If you want to see a broader selection of templates, you can just go to all types. You can see there's now over a hundred different possibilities here, but I'll just scroll through here. I kind of like this one. It's pretty basic. So I'm just going to go with this kit. And then it's going to basically custom build on my entire website with this template. And then I can just start filling out the information, adding in the text, adding in the images. And it's a very, very seamless process from there. So as you can see, it is setting up right now. And I'll check back once that has all gone through. So basically what's going on here in a nutshell is your web hosting is being set up. WordPress is being downloaded and installed onto your website and Elementor Pro is being added to your site and all set up. So it's basically just gonna take us straight into the editor where we can start working on the website very, very quickly and get this whole thing set up in only a couple of minutes so that we can dive right into what you absolutely must, must know before you decide to use the platform or not. All right, so a couple minutes later, our site is ready to go. So let's dive right on in. You can see we've got this little tutorial guy here. We'll just press edit with Elementor and it's gonna take us straight into the page builder for our homepage. Just wanna show you guys briefly how simple it is to edit uh, one simple page. And then we'll give you those last pieces that you need to have before you make your decision. So as you can see here, we'll just minimize this side panel for now. You're gonna scroll through and see this is what the website looks like. So you get a big header, you got an image here, a button. You scroll through here, you got another header, another image, another button. 
and then it just kind of goes through the same thing. This is kind of cool. You got a title over here, and then you scroll through this stuff. So really, really cool template that they just threw together for you. You can just fill out the images. If we're selling something, this is perfect for it. I'm not gonna need most of these, so I'm just going to dive back into the editor here, pull that guy back up, and then we will just quickly delete the things that we don't need. So I'm gonna have a quick header here and an image just to basically be like, yo, I'm Apple, what's up? I'm gonna use this to basically give a little bit more about myself. And then I don't really need this whole section about products because I'm not selling anything. Uh, don't need this section about products either. So we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of this. Don't need any reviews because there's no products. And then just this footer down here about joining the newsletter. That's perfect because I have a newsletter. If you're not signed up for that yet, link in the description below. Basically send out an email every single week with a few tools, strategies, et cetera, for small businesses and entrepreneurs. So feel free to join that if you want to. But yeah, so we're just gonna add a very, very simple website here. I basically just wanna drive people to this and maybe I'll add in a couple of YouTube videos too. So very, very simple. We'll just dive in and start editing here. If you just click into any of these text box, you can just start editing. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. So I'm not gonna spend too much time here. So in only a couple of minutes, we were able to make a pretty nice looking site. We've got a image right there. We can scroll through. You can read a little bit about my bio. We've got a link to my YouTube channel. We've got some of my top videos here that are linked directly to those videos, which you can click on. And that entire process took 10 minutes, literally. So it's really just as easy as adding a section so you can say how many columns you want. You can drag in whatever you need, whether it's a heading or an image. They've got more advanced things as well here if you've got a pricing table or things of that nature. But you can just drag it in very, very simply. You just click on here. You can upload whatever files you need. So let's say we just wanted to use this thumbnail. We can just insert that. There it goes. You can add a link. If we wanted to link to the YouTube video that it came from, we can just paste that in there. And it's a very, very simple process for creating a nice looking website in not too much time at all. And then whenever you're done, you just press update and it automatically saves and publishes to the web instantly. So really, really solid process, but there are some important things you need to keep in mind when you are deciding whether to use Elementor Cloud or a different service for building your website. Because while this is a great solution for most people, myself included, this is what I use to build literally all of my websites, it's not going to be the best solution for everyone. Now, why is that? Well, the biggest thing is going to be the limitations presented by Elementor Cloud, because there are going to be some limits that you're going to encounter. I mean, if you're not paying over $1,000 per year for your hosting, you're certainly going to run into some limits on that front. And with some of my top websites, like some of my blogs that are getting a serious amount of traffic, I'll move those, I'll move the hosting for those off of Elementor Cloud when they get to a certain scale, which I'll mention when that is in just a little bit. But in all of these cases, this is only after the sites were extremely successful, okay? When they were making five figures or more per month, that's when I would consider spending $1,000 a year for web hosting and, and not before then, okay? If you're not making $1,000 per year from your website, it makes absolutely no sense to put yourself on faster hosting. It's not going to make your site grow exponentially faster. It's really only something you're going to do when you get to scale. And the reason for this is because at scale, every single millisecond counts, every piece of bandwidth counts, and you need to make sure that you're able to provide the best experience possible for all of your viewers. Literally, it's not even gonna be noticeable unless you're getting six figures of traffic to your website. So if that's not the case, you've got nothing to worry about yet. It's also a pretty easy process to move down the line. So as a beginner, very good to get started here. I start all my websites here. And then if they become super successful, then it's time to move the hosting potentially somewhere else. On top of that, there are two other limits that you might need to watch out for. The first of which is gonna be 20 gigabytes of website storage. So built in on the $99 per month plan, you're getting 20 gigabytes worth of storage on your website. Should not be a big issue for you because you really shouldn't be storing too much on your website itself because doing that is actually gonna slow your website down when people try to come there. If you have all these videos hosted there and all these other things, it's not gonna be the best experience. So you're gonna wanna host a lot of your media elsewhere if you can. So like big videos and stuff, best to not host those on your website, host them on someplace like YouTube or Vimeo or some other kind of video hosting platform, and then just insert them into your website so people can watch them on your website, but they're not actually hosted. The second limit has to do with the amount of traffic that your website can receive. So with Elementor Cloud, you're going to get up to 100,000 monthly visits to your website, which if you're getting more than 100,000 monthly visits to your website, congratulations, you probably didn't need this video in the first place, and you've got much bigger fish to fry. But you're gonna get up to 100,000 monthly page visits and 100 gigabytes of bandwidth for your website. Now, once you hit these milestones, if you are routine getting more than that amount of page views per month, they're basically going to allow you to upgrade your plan. This isn't something that they publicly offer, but when your site gets to that point, they're going to provide you with some potential solutions 
to either move your hosting elsewhere or maintain it, but pay a little bit more for that. Because if your website is getting a ton of traffic, it's costing more to host it. And so you need to pay more for that. I'll also mention that 100,000 page views per month is higher than what you're gonna be getting for a lot of these $50 per year plans that you'll find elsewhere with these other web hosting companies. A lot of them will set the threshold lower at maybe the 10, 25 or 50,000. And at the end of the day, once you're getting six figures in page views, then you can totally look at upgrading, whether staying with Elementor makes sense or going somewhere else. But in the meantime, this is literally the best place for you to get started when you are building a website for the first time or you're just starting to scale a new site. Most affordable place to do it, easiest, fastest place to do it 100%. I built many, many websites on Elementor and I plan to continue to do so in the future. And that's literally it. There's no other catches. There's no other fine print to watch out for. And if you do wanna sign up for Elementor and support the channel, that link at the top of the description or going to applecreditorcom slash Elementor will allow you to do just that. And again, they have that 30 day money back guarantee. So if at any point you decide it's not for you, you can go through with that process, get your money back. It's a very simple and seamless process. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions about the process, feel free to drop those in the comments below. Happy to help out there. Best of luck building your site and I'll see you in the next video.